And somehow, I don't know how, it got into one of Irish's little bags. And it's still alive. I heard it jiggling around in my closet. Oh my god. I can't kill it when it's like this. It's plain as day alive if I can get it out the front door. But I don't want it coming back in. I found for the first time ever two rat droppings on top of my stove. I know they're rat droppings because I... I... <laughs> I took the baggie, I don't know if you can see it, and I put a note with today's date, and I said, is this rat turds? Today's date, on top of stove, and I was going to show it to the the bug guy, because I've never had, I thought I heard a mouse under my stove on and off for the last couple of weeks, but I couldn't find anything. So today, and I can't believe it came on my stove, and my place is not dirty. I mean, it's not clean, but it's, I don't have food sitting out or anything, but this was in my dog this is okay i'm gonna show you my closet lots of stuff but this is where i keep my baggies my just ordinary baggies and my little coffee pods and i keep irish's doggy treats here and if you can see and everything else is just storage stuff and on my door is just my bags and my cleaning stuff so i don't know what would draw it in there because everything's sealed but it it did have treats in this little baggie at one time, but I thought the baggie sealed, so either it ate a hole in the bag and... and uh, uh, uh. He's still alive. Look at him. He's a cute little mouse, though. I can't kill it. But I don't know if the bag is sealed or not sealed. I thought it was sealed. I don't know how on earth it got in there, like I said, unless he ate a hole into it. But it is a mouse, and they have a way to get into places. But I want to get him out the front door. See if I can do it without him. Oh, God, please don't let him fall out in my home. Oh. Actually, I don't think I'll go the front door. I'll go the back door so he can go into the field. Because in the front door, he's able to come back in here or somewhere else. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm doing this. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm I'm not scared of a mouse. It's not a rat. There's a big difference. And it is a tiny cute little mouse, but I can't kill it. And I don't want it in my home cuz now that means I have to have maintenance come in cuz if he's been coming in through an opening behind my stove or possibly dishwasher, that means they're going to have to pull it out and that's going to be a mess. By the way, there's my new storage bench. That's what you're going to see reflections of other stuff because I had the. Well, I didn't put the safety bar back. I had my door open this afternoon because it was warm in here. Great, I got all the little worms down here, but now it's not warm. Uh, okay. Mousy, mousy. Oh, he's moving. I don't know how I'm gonna let him out of the bag. He oh he's pooped all over the bag now. Poor thing's probably scared to death. Can't believe I'm doing this. He's right by the zipper opening though. I wanna sling him in the field, but not in the bags. I don't wanna move. There's gotta be a hole in the bag, but I don't wanna put my finger near it, because what if he does bite me and then I have to go get shots or something? Oh my god, get away from the zipper so I can unzip you. <laughs> because as soon as that zipper's open, he'll be able to pop right out of there, but I don't want him to go back into my place. Okay. Where's my, oh, I was going to set, there's not a stand on this video, so I can't properly video this. <laughs> I was going to set the stand. Poor thing. Hi there. I can't believe I have a mouse in my house. Hey, I made my rhyme. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. It's so cute. He's breathing so heavy. Oh, he's terrified. I can't kill it. And I don't want them putting rat traps out because I don't want to hear a little squealing and all that stuff if something does get caught in it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's check out my bench. I spent time putting that together and it 
wore out my hands, but it's a storage bench. I have my grill, my gas tabletop grill I just bought, still in a box, and my dog spot bot cleaner for cleaning the carpet. And we had so much rain the last 24 hours that I have not opened it yet to see if it truly stood up to it, because I put it out right before all the rain hit, and it saturated this area where it was all flooded and everything, so... I'll find out, but that's a different story. Right now I gotta take care of this little dude. And I'm terrified to open the bag, but I wanna, cause I don't wanna throw trash out in the field and I wanna, I wanna keep this, this is terrible, isn't it? This kind of thing doesn't happen. Where's my, I had a, what would you call it? The little stand that you put the phone in. Maybe I can get something across the phone. I'm probably gonna knock that bag off and fall on the ground put it too close to the edge, but I want something to prop the phone up so I can videotape this. But my little stand is in a bag somewhere and I don't know where. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Alright, maybe this will work. That's too high, let's see. It's the tape dispenser, it's weighted so I can maybe prop the phone against it. All right, little dude, we're gonna try this. Let's see if I can record while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh my God, please don't jump out of the bag. Mm. <gasps> the bag is open, it's not sealed. Well, I know how I got in. Oh, there's wrap. Dropping some all in there. Okay, you know what, dude? Oh, he's just too cute. He's about to come out of the bag. Oh, there he goes. Oh, don't go back in my house. No! <laughs> Shoot. Oh, he's a fast bugger. Does this thing have flash on it? I don't know. I don't want to reverse it on me. All right, I'm just gonna assume he'll go back in the field. No, please don't come back to my house. Get in and shut the door before he decides to come back in. Okay, that was that. He's out of the bag. Now I got poop to throw away. Ah, the joy of living behind a field. Blessings from my little rat-tailed corner of the world to yours. Night.